Jeff Sellers here with Texas Guardian Program and SOT Firearms. Now today we're going to talk about some pistol basics. Uh, no matter how much experience my students have, I always go back to the basics. So there's several things involved with basics. So we have our sights, our sight picture, which is really important. Um, we have our grip, uh, we have trigger control, breath control, and follow through. So on our grip, uh, what I teach my students is to wrap their uh, bottom three fingers around, index their finger below the slide onto the actual frame. Um, this is also how you would want to draw your pistol and then it's a smooth transition from here to your trigger, okay? Uh, from here to your trigger. Now we only put our finger on the trigger when it's time to shoot. And the part of the finger that we use for our trigger is right here. Not right here, not the end, but right in the middle of that last part of your finger. Okay, so our grip on this side, so we have that established. I'm going to turn it around this way. Uh, your thumb is going to go under your slide. The meat of your hand is going to fit right up into this little area where your fingers and your other palm are. And you're going to wrap your four fingers around here. This thumb goes forward, this thumb goes forward. Now it looks kind of weird until you actually aim. So when I aim, I have rotated my wrist and I'm in a perfect shooting position. So a lot of times you'll see people shoot and they'll shoot once and they'll kind of regrip and regrip every time. You want to avoid that because let's say that you have to fire two or three shots. Well, when you do that, you're, um, losing, you're losing precious time. So you want to make sure that you stay in that position. Okay, for your follow-up shots. Now, one of the other things that I teach my students to do is use both eyes when they're shooting. Now, we all have a dominant eye, um, but using two eyes is better than one. Now, it does take some practice because you might see two sight pictures. So you're still gonna rely on your dominant eye and you may see a little a fuzzy uh, picture of the, your target, but you also wanna rely on your dominant eye. Using that other eye is gonna help you focus in and make uh, better shots and quicker shots. It's gonna allow you to make uh, better target acquisition. So I always encourage people to use uh, both eyes when they're shooting a pistol. When we do shotgun shooting, that's how you do it. Uh, with a rifle, it's a little bit different if you have a scope or a peep sight. Oh, so one of the things I wanna talk about is breath control. Now, you may have heard that you hold your breath or let out just a little bit and then fire. Well, when you're in a tactical situation or a life-saving situation where you're having to shoot a lot of shots, like in a competition even, um, you don't have that luxury. You have to breathe. So what I suggest people do is to fire when they're breathing out. When you're breathing in, your body moves a lot more than when it's move, you're breathing out. So I encourage people to shoot, breathe in, boom, 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 boom. So when you're breathing out, uh, you'll find that that's gonna, give you a lot better platform, a lot more accuracy, and a lot more steady than holding your breath or shooting when you're breathing in. Now, one of the other things we're gonna talk about today um, with handgun basics is your stance. Now, there are two different types of stances. We have the weaver stance and we have the isosceles stance. Now, the weaver stance is an older stance that uh, older police departments and even the military used. And basically, if you've been in martial arts, you take a front, forward position like this. You basically make an L. Um, you're going to reach out. You, this arm is gonna be straight. Your, your rear arm is gonna be bent just a little bit. You turn your body sideways and then you can fire. Now the problem with this stance is you're relying on your muscles in this bent arm to hold your firearm. Now the stance that I prefer and I like a lot better because uh, it allows you to move if you had to turn beside you or behind you is the isosceles. So basically you're making an isosceles triangle with your feet and your handgun, okay? So from this position, you're gonna come up and out. Both arms are fully extended. Both of my eyes are open. I lean over, kind of stick your rear end out just a little bit, crotch down a little bit. And this is a very, very stable platform for shooting. So I encourage you to try both of those positions. Shoot whatever is more comfortable for you. Don't let anybody tell you to shoot a different way than what feels comfortable to you.
If you can make it work, then I more power to you. But we also want to shoot safely and we want to shoot often. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.